Lights and keys, shout out Earth Tank Fifth, lock in. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Takeaway checking in with another video. Look, look at this. She's not playing. But we at Invest Fest, man. It's 2023, man. We in Atlanta, man. There's it's so many people out here, man. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm just gonna walk around, show y'all the vibes, what the what this event consists of and all that.
Oh, you're crazy. Fest Fest, we're going crazy. You know, varsity jackets, hats, sweatsuits. We got the baby outside. You know, we grinding. Uh, we got my boys GBA here from New York. I'm, I'm gonna make them shout out to YouTube. We got a podcast, Nothing Normal's podcast. He run the, he run the GBA brand. Tell, this is Mike B. He styled uh, Biggie in the Kooji sweater. He the first person to put Biggie in the Kooji sweater. See, man, it's filled up right here. Dummy people. I ain't even know this was a whole other side. They got the TVs in here and everything. It's a better look for y'all. Y'all get a full understanding they got TVs everywhere. I'm still walking from where I came in. I don't know. It's just a little wild. I ain't even know this, this, uh, this other part was over here. Yeah, I ain't even know this was a section over there. That's what this was. It even then it was that big.
y'all see what's going on. We live at Invest Fest, man. I got the one and only Smitty the Goat. So tell the people what you do. I'm a uh, capital builder. So like, I, if you got an LLC, I can get you access to six figures in funding for your LLC so you can be able to take that to start businesses and investments with it. All right, so let me ask you this. So right now, I got an LLC. Yeah. I got a production company. Okay. And is LLC up in structure right? I got the business email, bank account, everything okay, right. Okay. But I went through a time where I had to I'm fixing my credit, get it back to where it needed to be. What advice would you have for me? You have to clean your credit. Right. Everybody thing is, oh, I don't want to learn it. Oh, I take too long. Or it's too hard. Or I pay somebody and work and all that shit, right? right? Forget all that. Make it a priority because there's nothing, nobody else in this world going to be able to get you access to 250000 right. So everybody says it ain't worth it. Get it together. Fix it. Stop trying to go around it and go through it. You feel right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Have you, have you ever been in a position where you messed up your credit and had to rebuild it? Yeah, bro. I had a 400 credit score. <laughs> I had a 400 credit score. I had to build my shit to 7, 800 at first. And then I was able to do what I needed to do. Okay. So at what moment did you realize, you was like, damn, like, why was I making this so hard? Like, what happened? What did you get exposed to that, like, changed the way you look at stuff or change? Uh, I got a mentor. I got a mentor. So the mentor helped me be able to change my mindset, change my way of thinking and stuff like that. Once I got a mentor, then I got doing other things that I never did before. Man, man, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, my guy. So look, what's going on? Once again, we live at Events Fest. I got the only. Who is it? Warrell Kahal. Well, the owner of KC Autos. Okay. So where you based out of? Well, I'm based out of Atlanta, here in Georgia. Um, we got three locations. Working on a fourth location right now. We sell everything from luxury cars to cash cars. We got transportation company. We got Sprinters. We got Maybach Sprinters. We sell airplanes. We sell everything you can think of. So let me ask you this. So how do you get into this field? Say that again? How did you get into this field? Well, I got into this field I was because I was a professional basketball player before this. Right. So how I got into this field was when I seen my teammates buying four, five, six cars at a time. I thought, I said, man, how could I help them save money? And then also make money from helping them save money because everybody with money always looking at ways to save money. So instead of them going and paying full price for a vehicle, I made sure that they paid, they got a little bit less and then also too and put money in my pockets. So that's how it started my business savvy on how to actually make some money. Where can they find you at? Find me at KC Auto, KC.Autos. KC.Autos, and you can see everything there. You can see the locations. You can see what we got. You can see the inventory. You can see clients who we previously sold to. You can see upcoming clients. You can see uh, special deliveries. Uh, you can see all the whole works. All right, let me ask you this. So what advice would you have for the youth, for the ones that are watching this, that don't really know what they want to do or what way to go in life? Well, um, you know, it's, if you don't know, you have to find out what you, you have to find out, or you have to just do what you like to do. The easiest thing is to do is to find out what you like to do. If you like to get on a game, if you like to do, you could do coding. If you like to get on a computer, if you like to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just find whatever it is that you like to do because you're going to face obstacles. The difference is with, with, with quitting and not quitting is because it's something that you love to do. If you just see somebody doing something and you just run and jump into it and you don't really love it, you're going to face obstacles. What keeps you going is the love of or the passion that comes behind doing what it is that you're doing. Yeah, I appreciate it. Absolutely. What's going on? I'm here with... Cedric from Bright Star Consult. All right, so tell us what you do. Specialize in personal and business funding and also help people with their entrepreneurship skills. Okay, so how did this journey start for you? How did you get into this? Uh, I got into the industry simply based on me wanting better for myself. No one in my family really understood finances or never owned an actual business, so I just wanted to change the dynamic and the cycle of my entire family tree. Okay. So was this journey, like, what What you think was the most difficult part and, and what do you enjoy the most about your, what you do? The most difficult part was pretty much the momentum and staying consistent and also, too, uh, trying to reach a, a different demographic when it comes to what you do because you have to gain the public trust. So what you working on this year? Like, how, how you want to end up your year this year? Uh, I want to end this year with uh, expanding the business more, offering different services, also getting involved more in the real estate and um, the trucking, and just launching our mentorship and being able to have a community where we can provide everlasting education that can help people exceed the expectations they set for themselves. So what advice would you have for the ones that are watching this video that don't really know what they want to do or they don't understand who they are yet? What advice would you have to have? First and foremost, follow God. Keep, keep faith. Uh, surround yourself around people who can help find 
the inner value when it comes to who you are as a person. And also to uh, try to look at what it is you're passionate about and what you can see yourself doing for the rest of your life. Where they can follow you at? They can follow me on Bright Star Consultant at, on Instagram, which is B-R-I-G-H-T-S-T-A-R-R -R Consultant. Appreciate you. All right. What's going on? I'm here with Brian Exotic Talks. You dig? Or you from where? What you say? Where you from? <laughs> oh, South Carolina. Smart bird. All right, where can they follow you? Your business at? Exotic Talks Global. That's our uh, social media handles for anything. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that. Um, Exotic Talks. Dot com. Global. Damn. Exotic Talks Global. Dot com. That's our website. Get at us, man. We got you. Well, what made you get into the uh, the hat business? Really, you know, like fittings and you know what I'm saying. Fittings like Jordans now, them motherfuckers sell out, especially like the color, different color brim. So we was like, we can't get them; they keep selling out too fast. So let's make our own shit. So we just came pressure, came with it. You know what I mean? So, so are all these designs on the table from y'all, or like how that work? All the designs is me and bro, me and bro. Go back and forth on a notebook pad. If you like this, you like that, just me and bro, me and big bro. So how long you had this business? It's been a year this past June. So how you feel a year in the business? Hey, it's good. I ain't gonna lie. Like at first, shit was slow, but then like when we start getting out in the public, just like uh, like punches like this, especially like black people in particular, like black markets, you know what I'm saying? They support, bro. Like. Like, we done got 500 followers this whole weekend, two days, you know what I'm saying? Like, just talking, interacting with people. We about to do collabs, like, so, before you even ask the question, the best advice to a clothing, to clothing or upcoming, just keep going. This shit gonna be slow sometimes, but who give a fuck? Like, like, there's nothing better in the world than looking at somebody in public or Instagram with your shit on fresh as hell. You be like, damn, I did that, you know what I'm saying? So just keep going, shit gonna get slow sometimes. Just keep going, like, Keep going, simple. That's all I can tell you. Keep going. All right, I appreciate you, bro. What's up, bro? Look. What's going on on here with? Raymond Gunnell. So tell me more about your business, man. So I got tired of buying Nike and stuff, so I started to make my, well, I started to make my own brand and make it affordable. So boom, what's the name of your brand? Be Devotion Brand. Where can they follow the brand at? Stuff you sell for the ones that don't know. What you sell? Tell them 